This is a public service announcement. Regarding all residents of Ireland, there is an anomaly in your area. There is an anomaly in your area. Following witnesses reporting a bald creature crying like a banshee, there have been several attacks reported in woodland areas. Some of the victims recovered have been found to have their internal organs and jaws almost entirely dissolved. Repeat. Some of the victims recovered have been found to have their internal organs and jaws almost entirely dissolved. This is a real-life scenario happening right now and has been confirmed without a shadow of a doubt to be true by both authorities and local residents of several towns and villages within Ireland. This creature has been given the name SCP-3199 and only been reported to have appeared in Ireland. It is currently believed that the creature is unable to swim, though can survive underwater for extended periods of time. If you live within Ireland or visit for whatever reason, the most important thing to remember is to stay calm. Do not panic, SCP-3199 currently has only been reported in a few rural areas. If you are living in a heavily populated area with few trees, these areas are considered to be completely safe. Civilians are advised to stay out of heavily wooded areas, especially at night. Here are some details shared by Forensic Science Ireland, an anomaly in nature and an entity of currently indeterminable origin. However, it is believed, through unconfirmed leaked sources, tissue samples indicate the presence of silky chicken, chimpanzee, and human DNA. These creatures are typically hairless, stained with a thin slayer of an albumin-like excretion. SCP-3199 stands at an average height of 2.9 meters as an adult. Weighing around 780 kilograms in a matured state, and 360 kilograms for hatchlings. Currently, its average speed has been recorded to be as high as 25 kilometers per hour, or 15 miles per hour. If SCP-3199 has spotted you, the best chance of survival is not to run, as SCP-3199 can easily outrun you. The best thing to do is to get to higher ground where it cannot reach. For example, climbing a tree or a building or even a steep hill or cliff. SCP-3199 can run for long periods of time due to its strong leg muscles, however has no ability to climb whatsoever, and has very little agility. Even if there are multiple SCP-3199 in the area, they have little chance of reaching you if you have climbed to a high and safe place. Unless of course you are in a tree and they start to attack its base in an attempt to get you down. Remember, SCP-3199 can produce highly corrosive substances that would easily disintegrate bark. If this is the case, remain calm and hide. There is a strong likelihood of it losing interest and simply wandering off if it does not see you. If you hear any sounds that sound like a woman screaming, please alert authorities immediately. Having said this, please be aware that foxes often make screaming sounds. This is normal for them, and is called Vixen Scream. The scream of SCP-3199 is far louder and ear-piercing. Those who are familiar with fox cries will easily be able to tell the difference. If you are however still unsure, contact authorities. It's better to be safe than sorry. You are not wasting time by being cautious. Authorities will immediately investigate the area, and if they believe the sounds are a viable threat, the situation will be escalated, the public warned, and the area contained. Autopsies have determined that the cervical vertebrae, bones of the neck immediately below the skull, of a mature SCP-3199 is composed of cartilage instead of bone, enabling the neck and throat to twist and dislocate to around 340 degrees in either direction. If one of these creatures is spotted, remain calm. Do not make a sound. This will only alert SCP-3199 to your presence. If it has not spotted you, as calmly and quietly as you can, leave the area immediately. Get out of the woods and call authorities. SCP-3199 produces large eggs, off-white in color and rubbery in appearance. It is not currently known if there is a limit to the number of eggs that can be produced in its lifetime. The eggs produced by SCP-3199 are extremely resilient to even high-precision blades, extreme physical trauma and acid exposure. Do not try to destroy them by yourself in any way. The success rate is low and the level of possible danger is high. 
Termination of SCP-3199 is currently relatively easy. However, destroying the eggs they carry inside them is far more difficult. SCP-3199 has been reported to be able to produce eggs completely on its own, and can do so numerous times, making it very difficult to eradicate them entirely. Regardless of age, SCP-3199 will always carry at least one egg to ensure survival. The very first human encounter with SCP-3199 was by a man known only as Mr. K. Mr. K survived this encounter. Later reports from leaked sources say that he heard the creature before he saw it. Thinking at first that it was a woman needing help, he headed towards the source of the noise. A blood-curdling screaming that continued. Heading deeper into the forest, Mr. K found an abandoned building, beside which was a rusted metal hut. Inside he saw the creature, later named SCP-3199. He fled the scene before it spotted him. Shortly after this, a mysterious organization descended upon the town. It is not known at this time what the purpose of this organization is, or why they have an interest in this specific case. Reports from other locals indicate that this group of armed personnel entered the forest with night vision technology. Perhaps to gain an advantage against SCP-3199, the outcome of this mission was never released, and it is unknown what happened to the creature in the end, whether it was killed or captured. All that was stated after this mysterious organization left, was that the creature SCP-3199 was no longer in the area. If you have any information about this anonymous organization, please contact the local authorities. The government of Ireland would like to thank them for this act of bravery and would like to work together to eradicate this threat. End of message. This is a public service announcement regarding all residents of Ireland. This is a public service announcement regarding all residents of Ireland. The anomaly known as SCP-3199 has successfully been contained. We thank you all for your cooperation and understanding during this difficult time. The public will be notified if there are any further changes or updates. If any further instances of SCP-3199 or their eggs are found, please report them immediately. SCP-3199 are opportunistic hungers, willing to engage with live subjects. So be on your guard if they reappear. Safety Services of Ireland wishes you and your family a good evening. And now back to your regularly scheduled program.